Now girls, for the last time, I'm not allowing you out of here until you master the spell. Well, isn't that an awful lot to ask? I mean, this is the first time we're trying it, and well, we're kind of late, as to be expected, but... And what in the world could you possibly be late for that's more important than this? Um, Miss Ravensdale, we're kind of in school. My, my, yes, uh, school. Forgot about that. Well, why don't you at least give it one last try, and then maybe we'll have an idea of where we can start from next practice. Come on guys, one more time and then we'll go to school, okay? All right, now try the luminescence spell and remember, the spell should be so easy that you should be able to do it without even reciting the spell anymore. I think that's a little advanced for us. Well, say the spell. Sun on your rays, brighten our days. days. And nothing. Girls, I'm afraid you're going to need to focus a little harder so that you can channel enough energy to have your powers work you know, at a functioning level. I understand that you're just learning, but it takes focus more than anything to ensure that they function properly. I feel as though you didn't come in with the right energy level today, so maybe get off to school because you have other things on your mind and we'll start up again tomorrow. Can we start up a little bit less early? It's harder for me to focus in the mornings. Um, do you not have school? I was hoping you'd forget about that. Mm, yes. All right, girls, I'll see you tomorrow and make sure to bring the right amount of focus into practice. Got it. Thanks, Miss Ravensdale. Come on, guys. Ugh. Focus, focus, focus. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, class, so today we will be learning about polynomial functions. Mm, why do I have to be in here when I could be learning with Miss Ravensdale? Ugh, this place is prison. But what about the tooth spell that I looked up? Or that travel spell? Ugh, God, this is boring. Literally cannot do this anymore. Hmm. <sighs> oh my God. Um, Tor? I, uh, yeah, what? <gasps> Oh my god. Tor, what are you doing? I don't know, I was just zoning out, not paying attention. We'll make it stop. Uh... Tori, Kenna, is there something going on back there? Um, yeah, yeah, I just broke my pencil and I'm gonna need to go grab a new one for my locker because I'm out, is that okay? Is there a reason you can't borrow one from your desk mate? Um, I'm left-handed and Kenna has a right-handed pencil, but I need a left-handed pencil. Left-handed pencil? Bye bye Uh, yeah, and I need to go to the bathroom. <sighs> strange, strange, strange. Well, anyway, students. Tori, Tori, wait, what the heck was that? I don't know, I wish I knew. Honestly, Kenna, I think I never know what's going on. Well, what do you mean? One minute we're sitting in math class, and the next second you're making a pencil levitate? You know we're not supposed to do magic in front of people. I didn't do it on purpose, it just happened, okay? What do you mean it just happened? How can you make a spell just happen? I mean, consider all the amount of effort we have to put into making a spell just happen. I don't know, okay? I was just letting my mind wander and suddenly my pencil's flying around the classroom. What, so you're saying when you stop focusing, you start making magic happen? Well, Kenna, I don't know. I mean, I certainly wasn't focusing in class. Ugh, I wish I knew what was going on. Well, maybe your powers are a lot stronger than we thought they were. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. I know I don't have any trouble controlling mine because it takes a lot of work for me to make them happen, but I couldn't just do that. So what do you think, my powers are extra strong or something? Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about them, but maybe. I mean, that's what it looks like. Maybe instead of strengthening your powers, you need to learn to control them. Okay, okay, wait, hold up. I'm not out of control. I'm not like a monster or something. 
I'm not saying you're a monster. I'm just saying maybe you need to work to control them so you can use them the right way and not make pencils levitate in school. Okay, okay, maybe you're right. I'll just make sure to stay more focused and not let that happen again. No more daydreaming. Okay, okay, just make sure to be responsible because you know what we're not allowed to do. Nobody can know about this. I promise. I'll do my best. Okay, but geez, that was a close one. And anyways, you should probably be getting back to class and- Oh? Well, I guess that one's out of the question. Hey, well on the bright side, at least I got out of math class. Yeah, well let's never do that one again. Guys, 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 guys. Look, doesn't he look so good today? I know Jess, I can only see the back of his head. Jesse, how about instead of just staring at him all day, you go out and ask him out, I'm sure he'd say yes. Ugh, come on, Tori, why would he say yes to me? He's cool and I'm a freak. Jesse, every time you ever talk to him, he seems totally thrilled. Maybe he likes you, just go talk to him. But you guys, this could be my biggest mistake ever. I don't want to ruin this. Ugh, come on, Jesse, what's this? You staring at him from across the hall and asking him about the weather? Well, yeah, I'd rather talk to him about dumb stuff than never talk to him at all. Come on, Jesse, just do it. I know you can do it. It's gonna turn out great. He'd be crazy not to go for you. Well, are you sure? Positive. Now get over there. Well, okay. <sighs> um, hey, Harry? Oh, Jesse, hey, what's up? Oh, well, you know, nothing much. So, um, how was that geography test for you this week? Oh, you know, it went okay. I think Miss Cadgett hates me, though. I mean, she gave me a way lower mark than I was expecting. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's that sucks. That really, really sucks. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, how was it for you? You know, fine, fine. Everything's just fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, are you going to the hockey game this week? I'd love to see you there. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'd love to see you play. It's the opening game, right? Sounds awesome. Uh, when is she ever gonna get to it? Yeah, it'll be totally sweet to see you there. <laughs> sweet. Oh yeah, so anyway, I just had this one other thing I wanted to ask you. Oh yeah? Well, go ahead. I, hey Harrison. Oh, uh, hey Holly, what's up? Oh, me and Tessa were just thinking about the hockey game this week and how excited we are to go see you play. Oh, uh, hey, cool, thanks guys. You know, the team really appreciates everyone's support. Yeah, we were thinking that we'd go over to the dollar store and get some pom-poms in the school colors and cheer for you guys. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, yeah, that'd be really sweet. Like, we love having people coming out and watching us. We never have enough audience members. You know what'd be even cooler? If you let me wear your jacket, I mean, then I'd be a total fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I kind of needed it for after the game, but I guess you can borrow it while we're on the ice. Oh my god, that's such great news. Isn't that great news, Tessa? Oh yeah, totally great. Um, oh, you know what? Never mind, I gotta go. See you later, Harrison. But wait, what did you have to ask me? Hey, Jesse, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, did she not do it? Hey, you, you guys. What's up with Jesse? She said she had something to ask me and then she just ran off. Oh, I think she might have just been upset about the geography test or something. <laughs> Oh man, that sucks. Well, I hope she's doing okay. I really hope she can still come to the hockey game. I mean, I'd totally love to see her there. Really? Well, yeah. I mean, I know you guys are her best friends, but do you think you could keep a little something from her? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Jessie's really cool, and I think I might have a bit of a crush on her. But promise me don't tell her, okay? I'll tell her when the time's right. Yeah, of course. No, we won't tell her at all. Never. No way. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, tell her to give me a shout when she's feeling better. I'd love to, you know, cheer her up or something. Bye, guys. Ah! Uh, oh, that was so embarrassing. Ugh, I can't believe Holly. Ugh, Harrison's never going to like me. I just want him to like me for, like, five seconds. Ugh, this is so stupid. Holly just knows how to ruin everything. Maybe I just have to take matters into my own hands. Maybe. Maybe I have the upper hand, because Holly doesn't have magic on her side. All right, all right, now let's make sure I have all the ingredients. Love potion. We've got the sweet scent of romance, the dust of rose petals, and lover's spit. And if I just combine them all, I'll have a potion that will make Harrison bound to fall in love with me. Hmm, now let's see. Just have to combine them all into this little bottle and then spray it on Harry. Foolproof. And now this little bottle will give me all of my wishes and desires. Not even Holly can change that. 
And now to enchant it. Hmm. All right, the enchantment's right there in the spell book. Hmm. I hope I'm strong enough on my own. Although you can never underestimate the power of love. Darling, won't you come and play with my heart and won't you stay? I'm your love and don't you see how happy that us two could be? I think it worked. And now with this potion, Harrison will definitely like me back. And finally, my dream of us being together can be a reality. <laughs> OMG, I'm so excited to have a real boyfriend. <laughs>